say hello to my little friend. Oh crap, I brought the wrong bag. Hey everybody, been a little while since I did a gear review. I got a couple bags from Blackhawk to talk about today. These actually came from Optics Planet. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I'm now a brand ambassador for Optics Planet and this is the first set of goodies I was sent to review and give my opinion on. This first one is their Diversion Carry Pistol Sling Bag. It's for pistols only. It's quite small. The second bag here that we'll talk about first is their Racket Bag. It's shaped to look like a tennis racket bag as you saw in that little opening clip that I put together. But it holds quite a bit of stuff. As I mentioned, these bags are part of their Diversion Carry Bags, or as I call them or anybody else would call them, would be your Urban Camo. They're meant to be discreet so you don't have that nosy neighbor from, say, uh, Bewitch that's always looking out their window at binoculars when you're uh, loading up your car, figuring out where the heck you're going or what the heck you're doing. Construction-wise, it's made out of 420 nylon. They're offered in a couple different colors. This is the blue and gray model with the white striping. These are made in Vietnam out of 420 nylon. Exterior dimensions, I always like mentioning dimensions, 29 by 12, tapers to seven and a half, three and a half inches wide. Internal dimensions are 27 and a half by 11 back here, tapered down to seven and three and a half inches wide. The zippers have a pull string on them with a hard plastic finger groove here for easy manipulation without having to grab a little tab here. I would call this more of a transport case than any kind of secure case. You probably could take a pen or pencil and punch through the zipper and gain access. You can lock this. You may draw a little attention to yourself if you're locking a tennis racket unless you really look like you're a professional tennis player and your tennis racket costs more than my car does. But anyways, it's got a decent shoulder strap on it. It's got a little padding there. It's got plastic clips on it. Easily removed and re reattached. Before we jump on the inside, the little outside does have a pocket on it. It's about most of a forearm deep. You could probably easily stick a couple 30 round mags either from an AR, an AK, or Scorpion Evo in there. And the case is thick enough that it doesn't really draw too much attention to what's in there, so that's, that's a good positive thing there. The inside's padded. It's got decent material. There's two dividers here. You could put two two short rifles in here. I tried to put the PS90 and the Evo in here at the same time and it wouldn't close the top. So I, I mainly would carry one rifle in here or you know AR upper and lower. The dividers are velcroed in place so you could take them out, move them around a little bit but it doesn't give you much room. Or I usually put the rifle right in the center of both of these and then got extra padding on the outside for that. I've been messing around with this bag for a few weeks using it to transport rifles to and from the range and whatnot. If they can make it a few inches longer it'd be a great 16 inch AR case or even a short barrel shotgun case. I've got my SBS 870 right here and the case is just a little too short for this. You'd have to take the stock off and you wouldn't want to do that for a 870 SBS. Now it will fit a 16 inch AR, maybe an 18 inch depending on your muzzle device if you separate the lower from the upper and you can throw the upper in the middle there. You got a little bit of leeway in there. I've got the uh, Yankee Hill QD muzzle brake on there. Throw the upper there. Grab your lower. Throw that off to the side. Zip it up, and the great thing about this case is it doesn't look like you have a rifle in there. There's no bulging parts to make somebody think otherwise. As I mentioned, it will fit the Scorpion Evo with a 20 round mag inserted into it. Your front sight base is almost too tall with the mags inserted, but it'll still fit. Or if you take the mag out, you've got a good good inch if you have an optic on there. If you fold the stock it'll fit even better in there but carry with the stock unfolded. Of 
course, as I mentioned, the PS90 fits in there perfectly. There's a little bit of leeway in there with the 16 inch barrel, but it fits nice. Definitely will fit the PS90 SBR once I get the Form 1 back for that. One other gun I have that will fit in there is my M92 SBR. It won't fit with the stock fully extended. However, got a folding stock for a reason. Bam, fits right in there. No problem. The previous cases I have been using for my M92 SBR and my M85 PAT pistol were these paintball cases from Allen. And hey, if you're going for discreet, nothing screams gun like camouflage. They're okay cases. They're meant for paintball. There's not a lot of padding on the inside. They worked. As I mentioned, I think this Blackhawk product is pretty decent quality. It's 50 bucks from Optics Planet. I think it's well worth it. The zipper you see here is a high quality, in quotation marks, Allen gun case that I picked up from the local uh, supermarket, Meyer. These things are built about as cheaply as possible and they still charge you 25 bucks for it. This zipper has been bent many times from pulling it back and forth and the insides lined with about the cheapest material. I've snagged the inside of this thing a few times with some of my muzzle brakes and ripped it. So yeah, you definitely get what you pay for with some of this Allen stuff. The second bag we're going to talk about today is the Diversion Sling Pack for pistols. Essentially, if you want to call a spade a spade, this is a tactical fanny pack. The nice thing about this bag is it's truly ambidextrous for the internal compartment. The outside's got all kinds of pockets for your cell phone, your medical kit, knife, wallet, anything that you would carry in, again, a fanny pack or in a car or with you on a daily basis, you can throw in this bag. It's got the same style zippers that the racket bag has on it. It's got the pull strap with the plastic up here so you can easily get it open. This little compartment out here has got the latch for, say, your keys. It's got a couple velcro pockets in it. Got another pocket right here. You can stuff stuff in. It's got a carry handle up top. The strap is a little thin in my opinion, especially if you're going to carry something like this all day with, a, with some weight in it, like a pretty heavy pistol. It's got some uh, rubber coating here to help keep from slipping on your clothes. It's got their strike webbing right here for accessories. As I mentioned, you can move this strap from either side to carry it depending on if you're right or left handed. Again, the big positive thing about this is there's not a whole lot of markings on here to indicate that this is anything other than a normal bag that you would see somebody carrying out in public. You've got Blackhawk on the clips there, but it's not real discernible, so that's a positive. Again, made in Vietnam like the racket bag, made out of 420 nylon. Dimensions on this are 13 and a quarter by 7 and a half down here, down to about 3 and a quarter here. It's about an inch thick if you're lucky. The back's got some padding on here for comfort, so you can open it from either side. We'll talk about this in a minute. This is the pistol retention method used for this case, which I'm not too fond of. On the inside, we have a web pocket here that you can open from either side. You can throw more, more stuff in if you wanted. This entire back part is velcro lined, so if you had other velcro accessories you can stick them in there and they will stick. This is the pistol retention device for the bag. There are no instructions with the bag, so your guess is as good as mine at how this works, but from playing with it, seems like you put the pistol in here, you wrap this around here, and then this kind of goes down here up against the velcro and keeps your pistol from sliding out. Positive note, since the back is Velcro, you can stick this You can stick this in any arrangement that you want in the bag so that if you had to reach in there for it, you could get it out. How quickly you could get it out, it's probably definitely not faster than carrying it inside the waistband or outside the waistband holster. But again, we're going for discreet here. There's a small little pistol. That's the SIG P938. Here's your 
FNS 9C. Fits that rather nicely. And if you think you might encounter some bears, or maybe some zombies, you've always got the old Desert Eagle right here. And even will wrap around there one way or another. So it fits small, medium, and large pistols. Like I said, the retention method I'm not really sold on. A couple other people felt the same way online. What I did do for my FNS, I've got a single clip inside the waistband holster. I ended up just taking this sliding it on like that, clipping it down, sticking my whole holster in there like that. I like that a lot better. Felt the pistol was more secure inside the bag. From what I gather for deployment method of grabbing the pistol out of this case, you would sling the pouch forward, unzip, and however you place your gun in here, go in here and grab it, pull it out and deploy it like that, put it back in there, You've got access to the other pockets and pouches in here. Since I am left handed, this pouch is upside down for me. But, like I said, tactical fanny pack. This pack runs right around $40 from Optics Planet. It's available in a different color scheme, red and black, and some blues and stuff. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the bag itself and the quality that the stitching and the material used to make the bag. I'm just not sold on the attachment method for the pistol inside. I have been using it for days that I'm wearing clothing that may not lend itself to wearing a holster such as a pair of swim trunks that doesn't have belt loops so I would throw the pistol in this and my wallet and stuff and carry it around and nobody's the wiser. So all in all I think I like the racket bag best out of the both. I can carry all my short rifles in here with ease. Like I said, it really can't fit two rifles in there. You could if you tried and stress the zippers a bunch, but it works great for transport and stuff to the range. I'll throw the links in the description below to get to Optics Planet to buy this stuff and the 5% discount code they have set up for me. As always, thanks again for watching, everybody, and until next time, take it easy.